doesn't want a pill to cure what ails them, but many times antibiotics aren't the answer. The expectation that your child with a runny nose and a cold and cough is going to be given antibiotics and get cured uh, is often sort of misplaced. Many of the illnesses that spread through the pediatric population are viral and with very few exceptions are undeterred by antibiotics. For instance, the flu, we have a antiviral drugs that can speed along the flu. But the run-of-the-mill, cold, respiratory, gastrointestinal virus that we see, we have no antibiotics or no antiviral drugs to treat them. Parents pushing for meds to help their sick children is becoming a major health issue. Scientists warn the overuse of antibiotics is leading to the rise of superbugs. The development of drug-resistant bacteria is making it harder to fight infectious disease. Six or seven years ago, we had about 10 or 12 oral antibiotics that would work on most ear infections. And we're really down to three or four now because the germs are now resistant. A doctor visit is still warranted in determining the nature of a sickness. If it is viral, your pediatrician can tell you what to expect and how to provide relief. Usually symptomatic medicines, uh, possibly pain relievers or uh, simple remedies like honey for a cough or uh, vaporization to loosen mucus. But really, what we're doing is providing mostly guidance and reassurance. It may be painful for a parent to watch, but being anti on antibiotics is often in the best interest of their child. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.